welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the free slave. Submit yourselves, therefore, to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as servants of God. 1 Peter 2, 13 through 16. 1 Peter 2, verse 16 uses two contrasting terms, free and servants. The two are opposing terms. The word free means not bound by impositions, restrictions, or regulations. Contradictorily, the word servant means one that obeys the rules, regulations, and restrictions of a master. Therefore, it is obvious that one must know what he is free from and to whom he is free to serve. These two go hand in hand, which is something this generation has failed to discover. Never has there been such a devilish freedom overtaking the church as it has today. They wrestle the scripture to their own destruction. They preach free from restrictions and regulations and twist the scripture to mean deliverance from holiness, godliness, and purity. The word save, which literally means to rescue from danger, harm, etc., has no meaning at all to them because it is obvious that they are saved from nothing. Listen to God as he questions a generation much alike to our own. Behold, he trusts in your lying words that cannot profit. Will he steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom you know not, and come into this house which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations? Jeremiah 7, 8-11 Hear the prevailing voice of this morally sick generation as they exclaim, We are delivered to do as we please. We are at liberty to partake of all worldly amusements. If ever there existed a need for a clear note and a certain sound from our pulpits, it's today. We need once again to hear what we are saved from. We need instruction in the biblical truths of the terms free and servant. Real liberty, you will discover, is the right to do what the Bible permits. And once again, I quote the authority of all things. The Bible, that declared to all generations in 1 Peter 2 verse 16, as free and not using liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as servants of God. The thought of the day, one must know what he is free from and to whom he is free to serve. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.